Metals are a bit tricky when it comes to oxidation. I will explain how to get a realistic result in a few steps. To help you go along with me, you can get this scene for free. Let's start with copper. This will be a simple example to start from. Press F in the shading editor and under the metal color menu, select copper. Put the metallic to one. When the copper gets old, it tends to darken a bit. Add a use saturation value node and put it on the color wire. I will also increase the saturation a bit. Now that we have a clean copper pipe, it's time to oxidize it. I will start with the grunge number 5 for normal to serve as a base. We need another use saturation value node and a grunge number 3 for the texture. For copper oxidation, the U is around 0.9. You can check references online. Since oxidation is on top of the copper, we connect the normal into the grunge number 5 and decrease the strength. You can play with the value to make it darker. The last step is to plug the roughness and adjust it to get a realistic value. The coverage on the grunge number 3 will drive the oxidation amount. For the second pipe, I will show you how to get a nice rusty result. This time, we will use a two-layer setup. Once again, the base color is in the metal color menu. Like we did with the copper, adding a use saturation value node will allow us to adjust the tone. Import a grunge number 3 to drive the roughness and the normal as a base. Here, the second layer is for the rust. If you go to the metal category, you will see a rust node. For the mask between the two layers, another grunge number 3 will do the trick. By default, there is a bit too much details. Play with the detail and the blur settings to adjust it. Once again, the coverage drives the quantity of rust. By default, the rust is too saturated to my taste. If we increase the light and decrease the saturation, we get a more realistic result. Now, let me show you a cool trick. Usually, when two pieces of iron are rusty and connected to each other, there will be rust in between. To get this effect, import a lighten node and a cavity. As you can see, nothing happens. But if we go inside the cavity node by pressing tab and uncheck the only local, we get the effect we want. This is too much, so we reduce the distance to make it realistic. We plug a grunge number 3 into the texture input. Now it's time for the last pipe, aluminum. For this one, it's pretty quick. We will start with a setup like the copper. The second U saturation value node will be set to a higher value. To increase the effect, we plug the normal. Don't forget to plug and adjust the roughness. 
I will also adjust the coverage and the grunge number 5 because it is too strong. I hope you liked this course about oxidation. If you want to make a professional studio to texture your object, here is how to do it.